Houston, we definitely have a problem. We definitely have a problem. What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And if you saw the title of today's video, then you already know what we're here to talk about today. FCA, which is now Stellantis, you know, now that everything is closed and they're no longer responsible, all of a the sudden, they're so willing to admit that they massively fucked up. So if you have a Challenger or Charger uh, with a 6.4 or a 6.2 liter supercharged engine, you got one of these letters in the mail. I'm going to read it to you real quick. I'm also going to put it as an image here uh, when I get done reading it so you guys can read it for yourselves. But it basically says FCA US is offering security improvements on certain 2020 Dodge Challenger uh, vehicles equipped with a 6.2 or a 6.4 liter engine. Now, I found out that they sent this letter out with different model years to different people, all the way back to 2016. They say, the radio frequency hub, aka the RF hub, you remember I did that video where I showed how easy it was to physically hack the system and program a key? If you haven't seen that, I did a video on that right here. Okay, I did a video on that right here. Go check it out you'll be shocked. And this is why people are able to break the window, get into your car, and they're in there like 20 seconds and they got a key. We'll talk about that in a minute. The radio frequency hub module on your vehicle contains a software security vulnerability that allows experienced thieves, or anybody that watches YouTube, to program their own key fob using aftermarket diagnostic tools. This may result in the vehicle being stolen. Hmm. What do they mean by aftermarket diagnostic tools? Let's discuss. So this is an aftermarket diagnostic tool. I haven't opened this one yet. I got to do a video for you guys with this on the BMW, but this is called the linker. And this allows you to get into the BMW and completely code it. But it's basically just a USB dongle. It's basically just something that plugs in, not a USB, an OBD dongle. It plugs in via ODB and allows you to do whatever programming you need to do on the car with a phone. Now what FCA is talking about in the letter is something that looks like, let me make sure I don't display this, something that looks like this, okay? Now this looks like, it could be just like an innocent thing, but this thing runs Android. And I, I think I've already showed you guys this before. This is a ThinkScan SD, but it runs Android, okay? Now there is software that you can download on the internet and put on this, this device right here as, my, as well as many other devices and then you plug this in to the ODB port. You go into the software here, and I'm not gonna get into the specifics of how it's done, because we're not promoting car theft here. And they do a couple different things here, and a couple different things on your display in the car. It literally takes 20, 30 seconds, depending on how fast this writes, and they program a key. Now they have a key fob. They literally have a key, just like you would, and drive away with your car. Now sometimes, depending on the software that you have on your car, the connection between a device like this and your ODB port will fail. And then they just pull the neutral strap and push your car away. Now you can defeat that by picking up one of the neutral straps from Destroyer 1320's channel here on YouTube. I'll probably at or link him in the description down below. He's also working on, and I don't know if he's actually sold these yet, he's also working on ODB port uh, plates that you can put over it which means it's going to take them much longer to... These thieves want to be in their car and they want to be with the car running and down the road within a minute. They do not want to be there long because somebody like me or you would come out and bust a cap in their ass, I believe is how uh, people my age may say it. Or, you know, would rip them out of the car and beat them within an inch of their life, more than likely. But... The problem, and this hopefully, I, the, I've, and I've already made this clear to you guys, I've done trainings and all this crap with a couple different law enforcement agencies in North Carolina and now Texas on how easy these cars are to be stolen. And it really pisses me off that FCA is just, you're just now, you're just now sending out these letters, just now sending out these letters, admitting the fault. I think FCA, AKA Stellantis, has opened themselves up to a massive class action lawsuit. A massive, because they knew about it. People like me, listen, 
let me be clear. I didn't publish that video on YouTube. I did a full step-by-step -step tutorial and sent this to Dodge, sent this to FCA, and I have a record of it. I also provided the same video to, to the law enforcement agencies to show them this is how easy it is to program a key using not just this device, but other devices. Da, 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 program, key, boom, psh, bah, deuces, I'm out. That simple, okay? That simple. That's the program a key method. Then you have repeater boxes. I've done videos on that. You can have a repeater box and just uh, copy the signal from a key from in the house or somewhere else. And you down the road, you're gone. And then there's the old school method of just pulling the neutral strap and pushing it down the road, giving you more time to do one or the other method to try to get it started. But we'll get back. Let's finish with what they were saying here in the letter. They said, uh, the RF hub module may now be updated with software which will prevent hackers from programming their own key fob for the vehicle. In addition, the software update will also prevent the dealer from programming new key fobs for the vehicle in the future, and the RF hub module will, permanently, will be permanently locked, preventing it from future software updates. What does that mean? It means if you ever lose your keys, you're fucked. Dodge's solution isn't let's you know, update these modules with a more secure uh, module, we're just gonna put software on it that's gonna brick it. And it will work just with that key. And if you ever lose that key, take both of these and call me in the morning. You ain't got nothing coming. You can eat a dick, they don't care. They're not gonna help you. And that, in my opinion, is ridiculous. But if you think that's bad and they're fucking you over, we're not even there yet. I continue you'll be provided the option to purchase and program additional key fobs for your vehicle at your expense, at your, at your expense, because it was you that made this massive security breach on your vehicle. It's your fucking fault because you spent your money with Stellantis, because you spent your money with FCA and Dodge, and you had faith and love for the brand that you spent your 60 to hundred sixty to $100,000 on a car from them that they're now saying, well, you know, if you wanna pay us another 1,500 or two grand, we'll, we'll program you a couple more keys. Fuck you. And then they said, uh, if, if new key fobs are to be programmed and receiving this software update, uh, the RF module will need to be replaced. Okay, hold, hold on. Uh, prior, okay, so you can get these key, key fobs at your expense prior to locking the RF hub module with this software update. Basically, they're gonna brick the shit where you can never access it ever again. They're gonna, it's kind of like a, on a phone, it's kind of like bootloader locking an Android. They're gonna permanently bootloader lock it where it can never be unlocked or messed with. And that's, oof, okay. Um, if new key fobs are to be programmed after receiving the software update, the RF hub module will need to be replaced. And the RF hub module, Dodge should replace it for free. Stellantis should commit to this shit right now. That if you lost your keys or something else, that all you should have to do is pay the price of the fucking key fob. That's it. That's it. You should not have to pay for their mistake. Period. Period. End of story. You should never, ever have to pay for that company's mistake. And they need to make it right. This is bullshit. FCA US will update your vehicle RF, RF hub module free of charge. We're not going to charge you software or labor. So you mean you're going to fuck my car up for free? Oh, man. I appreciate <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that warms my heart. You're going to break... You're going to brick my RF hub for free? Oh, man. No, thank you. The estimated repair time is 30 minutes. In addition, your dealer will require your vehicle for proper check-in preparation and check-out during your visit, which may require more time. Your time is important to us, so we recommend that you schedule a service appointment to minimize your inconvenience. Please bring this letter with you to the dealership. Now, what they mean by check-in and check-out and all that stuff is, they're going to check your car. Like maybe you bought it secondhand, but what they're finding out is people are bringing cars to the dealership and the OBD port is giving a different VIN than what's on the car. And when they go a little bit harder and they look and they look on the frame or other areas, 
oops, somebody VIN swapped this car. They're finding out a lot with these Dodge cars too. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add this screenshot of this letter I have here. I'm gonna post it up here on the screen for you guys to see it here and then we'll, we'll wrap up. There you have it. Now, I don't know about you, but me personally, I think this is a bunch of bullshit. I think Stellantis, you knew what you were getting into when you bought FCA. This was like ragtag Mickey Mouse shit since it was mixed together with Mercedes back in the day to now it's, you know, Fiat, Fix It Again, Tony, Ferrari, Maserati, and everything else, all right? And look, and this is not me, I love my Mopars, man. But here's the thing, you know, us as as passionate car people, we can't support these companies that continue to fuck us, okay? And and here's here's the other thing, okay? I know you're gonna say, well, TK, I love Mopar. Mopar's dead, man. Come 2023, all that uh, love that you have for Mopar, all that 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 rah rah bullshit that you have for Momar, 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 that's good. Mopar, it's gone. There is no more Scat Pack motor. There is there is no more six four. There is no more six two. And in 2024, the five seven is gone. Gone. So, I mean, yeah, you can still love Mopar to have your older cars. I get it. Cool. But, like, I know people are going to be, but the electric cars are going to be badass. Yeah. Well, if their gas cars were this easy to steal, I'm not fucking spending a hundred and twenty or 130000 estimated MSRP on whatever electric muscle car they're going to come out with if someone's able to just come up there and plug in a tool and steal my shit. Because if it... If they've been using this module for over five years and they're just now sending these letters out to people to fix it. Mm -mm. Nope. Now, the, the, the issue with the RF hub has been a known thing for a while. OK, and in some cases, for some clients, Dodge has done this update for these vehicles, but it hasn't come out on this massive scale where they're got basically they got everybody's VIN number and they sent everybody a letter. That's crazy. Now I know you're gonna say, well TK, what is what is this about? Well, video on that coming soon. <laughs> this that letter is not for the green monster. That's all I can tell you. Um let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you feel betrayed by Dodge? Do you feel betrayed by Mopar? Or do you feel betrayed by, you know, still like I mean, we knew when the French bought them that this company was going to turn into like some lay down shit, right? I mean, it's French. I kid, I kid. No, I don't. Um, so with that said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get, I didn't get into the specifics on how these tools and stuff work on programming keys for a reason. We're not here to promote theft but i'm trying to explain to you guys the tools and things that are used so that you guys know what to protect yourself against again go check out my dude destroyer 1320s channel i'm going to link him or at him in the description below he does sell neutral straps which will keep your car from getting that neutral strap pulled and then pushing your car away i think he does do the obd covers too which also keeps them from plugging into your car right away um it's just things that you need to do to protect your car. I, me personally, I used to put a boot on my back tire of the Challenger. I had a boot on the back tire. I had a, a bike heavy cable that I ran through the front tires that I used to use for my trailer, um, which I know you're gonna say that like, TKS sounds like overkill. Yeah, it was, but I didn't want my car to be stolen, okay? Um, and I did a couple other things electronically with the car, um, which I might do a video on installing a fuel pump kill switch and other stuff for you guys here in the future if you want to see that but with that said that's going to do it for me guys if you can't tell i'm still i'm not at home i'm not in my office i'm just as my makeshift office here in the in the hotel i'm going to go get me get get myself yeah i've been hanging around with some irish people today i'm going to get myself into the hot tub and uh relax a little bit i gotta fight and drive with this 1953 chieftain tomorrow and get this thing around and get a couple other things you know taken care on it uh, taken care of on it um we're gonna have the carburetor looked at and a couple other things but anyways 
That's going to do it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you like today's video, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, hopefully the, the video was informative to you. And um, hopefully you understand just how bad it, just how bad it is. And I'm going to be honest with you. If anybody ever sues Stellanter, so they ever open up a class action lawsuit, I'm going to be on that thing like it's the first thing smoking. Because us as consumers have to teach these son of a bitches a lesson for doing this. You knew about it. And this is the thing. It'd be different if they just learned about it and they're, and they're sending a letter out and it's been six months, right? They've known about this issue for going on five effing years. Five years you've known about this shit. There's no excuses for me. They are... They are and you know what? You know what it is, though? It's not the individual consumers that's going to come after Stellantis. I hope the insurance companies sue Stellantis. I hope they come after F FCA with a vigor. And the reason being, the reason why is they knew about it. That's, neg that's gross negligence. I think the insurance companies with consumers have a slam dunk case against Stellantis because of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Till next time, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Perfect.